For better design control and visualization, sketch roads can be converted into design roads. To convert a sketch road to a design road, select the sketch road, right-click, select Edit. Then, right-click again and select Convert to Design Road. Once the conversion is complete, you will immediately notice different interaction between the objects in the model. For example, a proper intersection is created where the two roads meet. This intersection is a dynamic model object and can be modified based on many different criteria. As you can see, if I change my designed vehicle, the geometry of the intersection will change accordingly. I can select the various regions of the intersection and change the curb return type from a simple curve to a compound curve with taper. Additionally, various bits of the geometry can be manually updated and changed as well as striping. If you take a look at the bridge, however, there's still a little bit of graphical anomaly. This doesn't really look like a bridge going over our motorway. Let's change our intersection back and let's add a proper bridge. To do this, I'll select the design road, right click and select Add Bridge. When I do this, a little roller bar comes open and I can drag and create a bridge along my design road. Simply click at the beginning and the end and then a bridge will be created. As you can see, this has all of the structural elements of any bridge. I can change it from a precast to a steel plate bridge. I can add piers, I can change deck thickness, and I can change any structural uh, design criteria on the bridge. Selecting the road gives me an option for various types of edits. The first being geometry. I can select a grip and change the length of the horizontal curve. Or I can type in the length of the horizontal curve. I can also select a grip and change the elevation of the point of vertical intersection. And raise my road and lower it as well. I can change the grading or the way that my road ties into my existing ground. I can change it from a fixed slope to a fixed width and back and set my cut, fill slope and grading limits. As you can see when these edits are made, the model will dynamically update. Note the shading on the road, the blue and red zone indicates that I'm still in grading edit mode. Uh, so I will need to change out of that back to the geometry editing mode before I can start editing the geometry again. I have various options for editing the geometry. Uh, I can edit the profile in a profile view. I can edit the vertical curve. I can remove it or add one. As I pull up the profile view, You'll see here that uh, we have a couple of different options. We can display our horizontal geometry, existing ground, culverts, our finished ground. You can see uh, little grips and glyphs uh, that are on the profile that I can change and elevate manually. When I do this, my road uh, elevation changes accordingly, but only once I move outside the profile view. This is what triggers the regeneration of the model. 